I I think this was like super um I guess I kind of knew that one day I would you guys have seen my absence um within YouTube and my lack of uploading and I just I just needed to be able to tell you guys that this is an April Fools and for today's video we're gonna go ahead and be doing a updated makeup routine I have some new products that I want to go ahead and chat about you guys and just entertain you guys while the time being I know things are pretty weird right now and you guys have been coming at me to upload because you guys are bored and that's what I'm here for so without further ado let's go on and get into the video hey guys what's up welcome back or to my channel i'm pretty sure i already did my intro but hey coming at you with a bare face so i went ahead and already wiped down my face with the garnier uh, micellar water i put some on our cotton pad and wiped it down because it was getting a little bit you know um oily because i i did my hair before this so you know sitting in here in front of the light you guys know so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with moisturizer for today's moisturizer i'm gonna go ahead and use the ole hendrickson transformation sheer moisturizer this is good for combination skin i like this because it's completely lightweight and it's really good to pair under makeup so going ahead and starting with skincare I'm going to try to incorporate skincare anytime I do my makeup tutorials. I know you guys have a lot of questions all the time and always ask me what I recommend to you guys um, according to your skincare problems and or skin type. So this is really good. I really think that this could be um, universal as far as like who uses it. So definitely get that okay so now that we have moisturizer we're gonna go ahead and wait for it to settle in a bit before we go into primer okay so this is a new product i went ahead and picked up the wet n wild prime focus primer serum this is a hydrating serum so definitely gonna be super good for my normal to dry skin girls I have been loving this. I know you guys know that I swear by the e.l.f. Putty Primer. But this just has been super good on my skin. It creates that tacky finish so that my foundation has something to really adhere to. And I'm sorry if I keep looking this way. My mirror is on this side. And I don't want to be looking at myself through the viewfinder. So... Now, for foundation, since we have been in quarantine, I really haven't been wearing much makeup, but when I do get ready to film TikToks, <laughs> I've been opting to use the Dream Urban Cover Foundation from Maybelline. This is super lightweight um, and very gentle on the skin, so I really like it for right now that we are stuck indoors, you know, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some on my sponge and dab it out. I have been meaning to film for you guys. It's just that, you know, with this whole quarantine going on, I haven't been as motivated to sit down and like do my makeup and do some type of video because I, just as you guys, have been super, super duper lazy. And so, you know, I've just been trying to treat my skin good by not wearing makeup. But you guys have been at my throat on Snap, Instagram, and Twitter telling me to provide you guys with entertainment and make a makeup tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that today, obviously, and show you guys my latest makeup routine because... Things have changed. Things have changed. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out and I'll be right back. Okay guys, for the next product, I need you guys to hear me out. I know I say I'm like oily combination skin, but this 
concealer has been really doing it for me so this is the new elf camo concealer this is the hydrating version and um, as far as the formulation and all that it is really good it's um, wearable obviously just because I have combination skin does not mean that I look dewy throughout the day you know I set my concealer so if you set your concealer you should be a-okay but as far as in comparison to the original one I think I like the hydrating one a lot better only because I feel like the matte one can get really drying under the eyes and it's not the cutest look you know because I like to look matte so this is really really comfortable under the eye I should say so the only difference I have noticed is in the shade range the shades in the hydrating um, concealer do come darker so normally in the matte version I'm a medium sand and I noticed that they're just a lot um, yellower and um, darker I don't know how but I'm a light beige in the hydrating one so as usual I'm gonna go ahead and just put this under the eyes like so put them on the highest points of my face to just bring highlights gonna go ahead and let the under eye concealer set in a little bit longer so that we have maximum full coverage so this is the way it looks i know it looks ultra hydrating and i might look like i'm sweating but it is you know really nice it blends out beautifully now the one thing that will probably never change is this this is a new one i finished my other one so i'm gonna go ahead and dust this on the parts where we put concealer so making sure we blend out any possible creasing and for those of you guys who are new to my channel um, I use the shade light 10 in the Maybelline fit me loose powder now to set the rest of my face I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Mac studio fix powder and dust this on the other parts of the face that do not have the translucent powder also I'm in the shade NC 35 so next up is bronzer and to bring back color into our ashy ass faces because I'm sure a lot of us have been inside our house. I'm going to go ahead and use the Hula Caramel Benefit Bronzer and using this Morphe M527 brush and just putting that on the outer perimeters of my face. So I'm going to use the same thing to contour my nose and going in with a Morphe E62 brush and just starting really high up by connecting this into the brows like so. Taking an even smaller brush, this is a Morphe M508 brush and I'm just going to go ahead and do the nose detail work with it making a small circle and blending it out with the fluffier brush i think that's the best i've ever done my nose contour so next going in with the new jaclyn hill volume 2 palette i'm going to go ahead and go in with the shade g money right here and i'm going to go ahead and diffuse that out with the shade perfectionist which is right here I'm going to go ahead and concentrate G Money with the M433 brush by Morphe. It's a lot more small and compact. So just placing that into the crease and keeping it low in the eye so that we can go ahead and go in with Perfectionist to just blend it out. Okay, this is what it should look like. And now going in with a Morphe M441 brush and taking perfectionist and just using this to diffuse the color i'm gonna go ahead and bring this shade and drag it into the nose contour so that everything looks connected 
So this is what it should look like and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I went ahead and finished off my eyeshadow so I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This paired with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. Oh my gosh. Game changer. Literally what I, all I've been wearing when I don't wear makeup so they make my eyelashes pop and see this is like without the lash primer and without curling my eyelashes so i imagine when i curl my eyelashes so these next eyelashes have been my babies like my babies so they're the cara beauty a7 style lashes obviously i've already worn them so that's why they're not in their packaging but they're just the best just wait and see Aren't they just the fucking cutest? Look at them. Look at them. So for blush, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Milani Berry Amour blush. Okay. Only reason why I'm putting this on is because my Kylie, close to perfect one, fucking cracked. It cracked. And I cried. I did. I still have it though. Y'all want to see it? Look how badly it fucking broke. Like... On top of that, look look at this shit. Look look at this shit. <laughs> but our stores are closed, so I'm preserving this for as long as I can before I buy another one. I mean, I went like blush heavy, but I love blush. I love blush. Okay, guys, so now for lips, I'm going to go ahead and use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF2 and lining my lips. And just... Begin. I like to overline my lips, okay? I like to pretend like I have lips. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in a little bit of my lip. Go ahead and go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. I've been wearing this all over my Snap Stories. And if you don't have me on Snap, go ahead and add me. It is Clarice. And everyone's been asking me what lip combo I've been wearing. And so it is this. Literally my ideal nude. And on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in the shade Send Nudes. And just put that in the middle of my lip to create a more pouty look. Like hardly any set this all with the Bretman Rock Jungle Rock <laughs> setting spray in the shade Do Me in the Jungle. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. If I did go ahead and entertain you guys for a bit, um, please give it a thumbs up. Also, just want to go ahead and say Please be safe, be careful, wash your hands, stay at home, um, only go out if you need to. I know it's a really weird time right now, but just stay positive. Oh, me vaping. Just stay positive and um, stay indoors so that we can go ahead and get out as soon as possible and let this all diminish. So yeah, guys, if you guys did enjoy, please go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already and thank you for watching bye <laughs>